For the past four months, something has been terrorizing the people in this rural community. Locals have reported hearing horrifying screams in the dead of night. When I first heard this, it just went straight like it went, ooh, for a long time. But the second sound, it sounds like a female cry. Many believe that the creature known as the Howler may be the Navajo version of Bigfoot. Others claim it's a skinwalker, a Navajo witch that deals in sickness and death. Six weeks earlier, the Crown Point officers tried to locate the Howler by using the recording of an alleged Bigfoot in an unsuccessful attempt to lure it out of the hills. Official policy requires investigating cases involving the supernatural on the Navajo Nation any time the public becomes concerned. So today, members of the strategic reaction team will check out a remote camp. We're still getting these reports of howling, screeching at night. And further back towards the east here, we got a report of uh, footprints. But again, it's still speculation. And our captain and our lieutenant still want us to check the area, make sure uh, if we find anything, see if we do find anything. We're looking for any kind of signs of a large animal or yeah. anything like that. And it goes all the way around back out to the cemetery. Officer Gladys Antone lives at the mouth of the canyon. She and over a dozen others have heard the howler late at night. So when you guys heard it, where did you? When the, you dogs, when the dogs hear it, they come up here. Okay. They run around up here. In the morning hours, you can see them up here running around. The most reliable sources in this area that has been seen or heard, dogs also being chased, and I believe there was an earlier incident where one of the dogs was mauled. In fact, Officer Antone discovered her own dog, savagely mauled by an unknown creature. From there, more recently, they heard this howling again, two weeks ago. Whatever it is, it's still out here, and that's... Basically, our, our assignment today is to check the area, see if we find any sign of it. Martin divides the officers into three groups. We'll, we'll take the other one. You guys right. take this one. It's right under that shade. It might be a coyote that's walking right in there. They search the ground for tracks and check out caves in the canyon walls. Let's see, I guess we get up there and we'll check the tracks. By 1 p.m., the teams have made their way to the back of the canyon. Right where you're at, look to the east. Hold on, we get up on top. We go rock, lean across. You are on top. So there's a cave. I think he means that one up there. The officers head towards the cave. Suddenly, they hear a strange noise coming from the valley to the west. Did you hear that howl? Later, that huh? Yeah, I heard it. This is the actual howl recorded by our crew. Okay. North of us. Something howling back here. Yeah, I heard it too. It's north of us. You hear it again? Really faint. Does it sound like it? It's coming this way, huh? The officers may finally be closing in on the howler. It was a howling, definitely a howling, but nothing like I heard before, not like a dog. Didn't sound like 
like an elk either. It didn't sound like any other animal that I've heard. Not like a coyote or a wolf. I know I heard it at least three or four times. I'm thinking four. Yeah, two teams, I don't know. In Navajo tradition, strange animal smells often accompany skinwalker sightings. If you smell anything, let us know. It came from this direction, from where we're at, that last area. I figured it was in this area here, what it sounded like. It didn't sound too far, but we are downwind. Uh, so it could have been a little bit further out too. But as you can see, whatever is running around out here has a lot of, a lot of places to hide. You know, we've been on this for two hours and a half now. Let me see, we covered about two miles. Still no signs of track, but we did hear something. I'm still tracking where, supposedly where the noise came from. No signs of any tracks or anything yet. 500 yards away, Willis Martin and his team have picked their way up into the rocks below the mesa. From where you're at, can you see just above us those rocks? Yeah, we're looking at it. It looks like there's a cave right below the ridge. From his position, Bryant can clearly see a cave high in the cliffs, directly above Officer Martin. This judging from here probably about where these two trees are, right behind it? Yeah, right on top of the ridge. Using the scope of his rifle, Bryant guides Martin's team towards the cave. You can't really see it from here, we're gonna have to walk up there. As the officers climb through the rocks, they encounter a strange odor. We can smell that. And that's just the odor. Or down below, I could barely smell it, but when I first got up here, I could really smell it. It reminded me of as an old billy goat. And if you look at that tree behind you, it is, uh, looks like the bark's almost torn off of that. Then, our camera crew makes a startling discovery. A pair of eyes staring at them from the darkness. And through the scope of his rifle, Bryant thinks he spots something in the cave. I'm sitting in there. I can see something in there, but it's very tall it is. Martin approaches carefully. In here? Yep, right over the top. He tosses a rock into the cave. Then, rifle at the ready, he peers inside. Right there, yep. Nothing yet. No? Yeah. You had three or four people back there. Or a lot. But there's nothing back there. There's no signs. No tracks, no scruff marks on the, the rocks. If the howler lurked in the cave, it somehow vanished. Martin's team prepares to push further up the valley. But they get an urgent call to return to the station. Just, uh, just a little while ago, the lieutenant called me on my cell phone and told us to get back up to the high school. That uh, they got reports of uh, supposed to be a gang fight at the, at the school, and he wants us to uh, get back over there. Although the officers call off their hunt, they finally have the first solid evidence of the howler. A pair of eyes recorded by our cameras and the howl itself, captured by our microphones. I heard it at least four times. So, there is something, I'll say that. There is something. 